Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a crystal apple with an iPad using Procreate. We select a dark green and a soft airbrush. To make it, I will practically follow the steps from my book You Can Draw, Simple Techniques for Realistic Drawings. This section on a crystal apple. Only this time it will be in green. And if you want to draw the apple with color pencils, I have a tutorial for that too, which should be on the screen right now. Alright, we begin making a line for the top of the apple. Hold the tip down for a moment so it optimizes. Then let's mark the size of it with a dot and make the sides. Also, we can wait for a moment with the tip down so the line cleans up. Good. Now the bottom part, which has like a W shape. And we make an oval on top for the recess. You may also hold the tip down for a moment for the oval to become perfect. We make the edges a little bit wider and then draw some shadows and reflections following the shape of the apple. All these reflections should help us show the volume of the delicious fruit. <laughs> And let's do another one over here, which will be very bright. Let's switch to a gray and make a new layer to draw the stem and the leaf. And for now, let's fill them in with the flat gray. Now on a new layer and with a lighter green, let's fill in the apple. And let's pick up a brighter green for the reflections. I'll place this layer above the other one. And let's do some soft airbrushing on top. Now some nearly white, bright reflections. We will draw some grey lines on this area, as if it were reflecting a window. We should lighten up this area and reinforce the dark in some spots, to give it more contrast. And we can keep adding reflections, always following the shape of the app. Unfortunately, I don't fully like how this whole area is looking. I will repaint it with a flat green and let's see if we can do it better. I didn't like the two large reflected windows and the overall tone, so let's try something else. This is a creative process, so even if you are using a reference, you can always take off or add or change things. Let's draw a dark reflection over here that goes down, and then a couple of more over here. I feel we are missing some light on this side, but this time I will add a smaller reflection than the one we had. We first lay down a grey and then, in some part of that, a white. And let's keep adding a few reflections and cleaning up some of them with a more contrasting colour. Of course the reflections can be both dark or bright, and they can be sharp or soft, 
In the side shape, they should follow the shape of the surface. Ok, good. Now let's create a new layer underneath the other ones to draw the shadow. Well, this will be a sort of shadow reflection also. We draw an oval and then we fill it in using a soft airbrush. And since the apple is translucent, it can also project a light. The whole thing seems too strong. So let's go to layers, press on the N and bring the opacity to about three quarters of the way. In this way, the shadow is not as strong as the object, but let's darken it a little bit by the apple. Good, and let's do some reflections with a little bit more detail, like some little curving lines over here, and some light reflections here and there. Now let's go back to the layer of the stem and the leaf and with a dark grey I'll draw some texture on the end. I think the stem is too wide, too thick, so with the eraser we will remedy that. We will take some off it. And now let's draw the leaf. We do the center line, then the edges with blade. and the veins. As it is made of metal, we need to create a reflective surface with lights and darks. On the veins we can add small bright reflections. And I think on the area of light, we can go brighter. Let's do that. And to create contrast, let's add also darkness. By the way, the list of materials is in the information below the video. And in case you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, my handle is at Artist Leonardo. I hope to see you there too. With this contrast of darks and lights, it is beginning to shine, don't you think? Please let me know what else would you like me to draw digitally. I will keep doing tutorials with regular materials, but I want to keep also making, sometimes, digital tutorials like this. In regards to the stem, let's first give it a general shading, and then we will add in texture, with little lines, as well as here. On top we have it dark, so we add light lines while the stem is light, so we will add a texture with darker grey lines. And if you made it all the way to this point, I would love to know it. Please in the comments write me the secret code, an apple with a spell. <laughs> we give it the last touches and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already, click on the little bell to get notifications of new videos, and I will see you with more creations on Tuesday.